What's up, guys? Hi, Lance. Hi, Gabe. Hi. I'm gonna try to ollie over this, no, kickflip over this curb. That would be a huge accomplishment. You're gonna do this. I'm going to attempt to kickflip over it. So I've never done this before. Um, I've never even kickflipped over anything, period. So I don't even know if this is the right thing to go to, but we're just gonna go for it. I think you're good. Do you have any advice? Um, ollie it first. Uh huh. Get really good at ollieing it, and then it's literally gonna be exactly the same as kick flipping on flat if you apply like the same like physics of ollie. Yeah. It's. I mean. Yeah. I mean, there's not really much thinking to it. Yeah. It's just a matter of doing the same thing that you do for a kick flip. And then it's really small too. Small. It's not that long. And, so and I also, I like how it's kind of downhill, so I get automatic speed. Yeah. You kind of just roll into it. So I think you got it. All right. It's definitely gonna be another one of those mental ones. Yeah. You just they always it. are. Ready? So. Go for it. What do you give me if I do a first try kickflip? I gave you a pair of shoes, so what are you gonna give me? You did give me a pair of shoes. I'll give you anything I want from Chick fil A. Alright. Yeah, that's best. Oh! I did not mall grab for half a second. I know I can do this if I just pretend there's no parking block there. Alright, I need some feedback from somebody. Feedback me. You're Feed me back. Just try to stay over it and try to land it with only one foot. Just your front foot. No, I'm going to land it right here. Are you? Okay. Alright. I just have to pretend the parking block is not there. Yeah, it's literally invisible. It's so simple you can't even notice it. Yeah. Don't even notice it, Gabe. I noticed it. Ooh, that was cool. It was like a little bump wally. Hard flip it. Justin, I almost got popsicled. That was the closest try where I actually had my back foot on there. Actually, you're not very far. Yeah, it's just a matter of like Commitment. keeping my physics the same on flat as it Literally, is over the curb. Just stay over your board no matter what. Yeah, just okay. Keep your weight centered. Here we go, game time. I like the way my back foot kind of hovered. It's just a matter of flicking a little harder, jumping a little higher. You give me 10 bucks if I land it? I feel like I know what to do, you know, it's just the same thing as a kickflip on flat. But then like as soon as you're approaching that curb, mentally it all gets mixed up. And then I can't quite do a kickflip the same way I can do a kickflip on flat. I'm sure this would be easier if I could kickflip on flat better. I mean I can get them, I did a bunch before this video. But it's not like, you know, I have it like my ollies, you know. Go into it without thinking. Yeah. I'm trying to just flick hard and jump high. Yeah. That's kind of what I do to land a kickflip. <laughs> So let me see if I got it right here. So I don't have to think about it too much. All I'm thinking with is lifting my back foot up high and flicking my front foot out. Okay. Let me do one more kick flip on flat. Okay. Okay, here we go. Full blown commitment right here. Got to flick straight through. I got it. So that was cool. I did it, but I did heel drag a little bit. You did? I did. So I'm going to do it again. I think it's like two to make it true. I think it counts. 
now. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it was good. That, Easy, that was right? sick. Easy? Easy. Yeah. Easy. It, it's not like I can just like do it, but. But it's it's not as hard as a front 180. Yeah, it's not as hard as. Well, the front 180 helped me in this because I learned from the front 180 that all I was doing was not committing. And it's the same thing here. So I'm just kind of taking that and adding it onto my progression. Nice. So let's see if I can do two in a row. Proud of you. Thank you, Gib. Man, I'm just having trouble getting my front foot back on the board. So I think what I'm doing is I'm getting the flick. I'm just bringing my front foot back too soon. So I got to extend it farther out and I'll get it. Kelly, what's happening? I'm not committing? Okay. Yeah, the rocket. I have to flick straight. This is something that I hit when I skateboard. It's like, I get it really close. I almost get it, or even I get it. And then I try to get it again, and it just completely goes away. And in my head, all I can think is like, dang, I don't have it. Like, I can't do it. Like, I'm gonna sit here trying and trying and trying and I'm not gonna be able to land it. It's a weird thing that happens. I don't know if it's I get tired or I get discouraged or what. So I just gotta overcome that and take it down right here. That was really close. You mentally know you've already done it, now you're just overthinking it. Okay. Now you're like trying too hard to make it perfect. Just do it. Oh. Hanging in there. Oh, there it is. I got it. How do you feel? That was really cool. That was really cool. It's funny, like, I can't explain, like, what kind of difficulties I run into, though, you know? Trying it over and over again, just having, like, the same things happen to me that are obviously wrong, but then not being able to correct it. Yeah. It's weird. It's one of those things that I run into. I think, you know, part of it is, obviously, you like, running into the same things. I think pra practicing it and then stopping for a little while yeah. and coming back helps if you just keep trying it, it's sometimes hard to get into this rut. At least I do. Where it's just like I do the same thing every single time, even though it's not getting me there. Yeah. But then I take a break and I come back and then I can like feel refreshed again. So I think that's part of skateboarding, maybe even learning other things too. Yeah, you just kinda gotta slow down. If you start like overanalyzing it and overthinking it, then it gets tougher. Yeah, either slow down or take a break. Maybe try like a different trick. I probably should have taken it back to alling over it a couple times. Yeah. Doing a few kick flips on flat. Yeah. As opposed to just that same thing over and over and over and over again. Yeah. But I got it. I actually got two of them. It was really cool. Super fun to try new stuff. You know, I mean, I don't get to skateboard every day. Unfortunately, I really wish I did. But I do love to come out here and try something new. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are in the same kind of a thing. They can't skate every day. And I hope that those guys who do get to skate every day still enjoy this. Get to see, you know, maybe revisit what it was like when they were learning tricks. Maybe learn something from these. I don't know. If you guys are trying to learn how to skateboard, you should get Skateboarding Made Simple. It has every trick from Ollie, front side 180, back side 180, pop shove it, front shove it, heel flip and kick flip. So you guys can learn all of those and then get them real good on flat and then start taking them off curbs, over stuff, etc. If you guys want to see Gabe learn some tricks, recommend what you think he should learn. I'm curious to know. Please subscribe, like, leave a comment below. We'll see you next time. Definitely check out Skateboarding Made Simple. It's available on all these platforms, iBooks, railskateboarding.com, and Google Play. It's the most comprehensive video we've ever made, and it teaches skateboarding better than anything else out there. You won't be disappointed.